You're listening to Simple Roots Radio, episode number 153, and this is another episode of Monday Motivation. Today's quote is, the fastest way to kill something special is to compare it to something else. Welcome to Simple Roots Radio with Alexa Sherm. Alexa believes that simplicity in life is the key to achieving true and lasting health. And now your host, Alexa Sherm. Welcome back to this podcast. As always, my name's Alexa, and this is the place to get healthy, live happy, and find more joy. Today is another episode of Monday Motivation, providing you encouragement to give you courage to continue on in this journey. And remember that you're never alone. Today, I have a quote that I want to break down, and it states, The fastest way to kill something special is to compare it to something else. And that's said by Craig Rochelle. Comparison, it's so easy, especially in the world of social media. I feel like it brings out all these insecurities in us and that we need to constantly be looking to the left and to the right, and we're not even certain of who we are. But that's the thing about comparison is that it constantly reminds you of who you're not. And that creates this fight inside of our mind to become something more and at the same time to lose ourselves. I don't know how many times that I've gotten on social media and I've forgotten what my vision is, what my mission is here, and I get so caught up into someone else's. And it's sabotaging, right? Nothing good ever comes from comparison, but it's an easy mindset trap to get us down the road of insecurities and negativity. So my motivation for you today is to stay in your lane, to know your vision, to know where you want to go, and to be encouraged by other people instead of discouraged by them. As they say, you can't compare someone else's outsides with your insides. We're all going through things. This life is hard and it's tough. But to remember that we all struggle and none of us are alone. So what I mean by staying in your lane is to recognize that we all have a story, that there is no one else like you here on this earth, and you bring something different to the table that this life needs. You are purposed here for something for a moment just as this. So I want you to remember that you bring something to the table that is more valuable than comparing yourself to someone else. And you'll never find yourself stuck in someone else's story, but you'll only find that being present and aware of who you are and what you were designed for. To help you on this journey, I wanted to share five ways to stop comparing yourself to other people. One is to acknowledge the habit. Know when you're likely to compare yourself. Sometimes it's just a trigger of tiredness or exhaustion or a stressful day or of things not going well at work or at home. In order to stop this cycle of comparing ourselves, of feeling down about ourselves and falling into the continual trap of self-doubt, we must first recognize these behaviors. So take some time to understand when are you stuck in the trap of comparing yourself and then understand what triggered that so that you can work on that. Remember, no one else can make you feel inferior except you. So just remember that we all have been given the same opportunities and every day is a new chance to change our relationship with ourselves. Number two is limit your use of social media. If I had to take a stab at this, I would say that the majority of comparison is coming from social media these days. Probably not all of it, but the majority of it is. It's easy to look on social media at perfectly curated photos and thoughts and ideas and think, man, I really need to get my life together. But remember, that's curated information and you have no idea the real story behind the scenes of what's going on. So if social media is your culprit, all I can say is limit it. For most of us, social media probably isn't providing as much happiness and joy as we like to believe. In fact, it's probably creating more harm. So if you're not limiting it, at least set boundaries around it. If you're having a bad day, don't get on. It's not going to help. If you're tired, don't get on. It's not going to help. Limit your use of social media and know the bounds in which is healthy for you to use it. Number three is focus on all the great qualities about yourself rather than what you believe you lack. I easily get stuck in this trap of believing that I'm not good enough, I'm not capable, this is too hard. That mindset trap is just a rolling snowball that seems to get bigger and bigger with every thought. Instead, what if you switched that and you started thinking and believing and fixating on all of the great qualities that you have? As I see it, you feast where you focus. So for continually focusing on the bad, on the lack, we're gonna be stuck there 
and we're going to have lack instead of focusing on the positive. So start looking at that. That's this week's podcast coming up is we're going to dive into the stories that we're telling ourselves and creating that new story and health. So we're going to dive into that more fully this week on Wednesday. But number four is realize that everyone has unique strengths, including you. Again, focus on what you bring to the table. You have something unique that this world needs right now. So stop focusing on what you don't have or what you lack and instead start to really emphasize what it is that you do have. You have a light that this world needs and if you start to shine that in the way that you were created to shine it, you are gonna see so much good come out of that and it will help you recognize that you actually enjoy the lane that you are in. And number five, Remember, the grass isn't always greener on the other side. Like I said before, you don't know the whole story behind someone else's life. They might show all the positive moments in their life and glorify them on social media, but they also might struggle with self-doubt and tell no one, right? We don't know what's going on behind the scenes. So be grateful for the light that you have. Be present and in the moment. And instead of tearing yourself down by comparing yourself to others, lift yourself up by recognizing that you're a beautiful being with an ability to change the world. So this week, I want you to take some time to really uncover who am I outside of what the world is telling you, who are you, and what vision do you have for yourself? Where are you going? And I want you to stay in that lane, to fill yourself up there, to be encouraged there, and to not lose sight of that in someone else's story. Again, the quote for this week is from Craig Rochelle, and it states, the fastest way to kill something special is to compare it to something else. Remember, we were all designed on purpose, so stay in your lane this week, and that is your quick encouragement for this Monday motivation. I will see you back here on Wednesday as we break down the stories we tell ourselves. And this will take this quote to a whole nother level. So as you begin to unravel who you are and what that story is that you've told yourself and kind of come up with this vision, we're gonna dive into that more fully to understand how the stories we tell ourselves ultimately determine where we're going. So stay tuned for that on Wednesday. In the meantime, don't forget to go to the show notes where you can learn more about this episode, dive a little bit deeper into this idea of staying in your lane and download that free mindset guide called the joy experiment. You can do that at the show notes at simperitswellness.com backslash 153. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have the best Monday morning and you use this as encouragement to spur you on.